Hi, my name is Marmik, IGN EMP37. I am a mentor here at Game Institute for Unity Engine. What is Game Institute? Agar aap ek gamer hai, this is this place is a heaven for you. We here not only learn to make games but also to make friends that love to make games. You will be introduced to more people like you, like me, who are who worship games. I am going to teach you how to work in Unity Engine. First of all, let me give an introduction of what Unity actually is. Unity is a game development software or a game engine that is used to make applications, games, scenarios for movies on every device that is available on this planet. How is this possible? With the help of code. While Unity itself was made in C++, it uses C Sharp to help developers to add behavior to their objects. C Sharp has, uh, three months ago, there was a new feature implemented for C Sharp that is called C Sharp 8. This uses various quality of life changes that not only helps you to make more complex code but also makes it easier for people to understand it. Any fool can write a code that a computer can understand but only a good developer can write a code that a human can understand. And I am going to teach you exactly that. How to write a good code, how to write a code that everyone can understand. Even your future self after 10 years when you've just uh, started to learn everything, you can understand. Let's start with Unity Engine. Come with me. So, we already known that we Unity Engine, what we can do, what we can achieve, and what we can use. Karte. So, now I will tell you about how to set up Unity. Unity setup, which version is there, which modules you can add, karne, it can be difficult for a beginner. Don't worry, I am here to help you. And also, you need to know what to do after setting up Unity. Ek existing product, project ke beech mein version changes nahi karne. It can lead to devastating results or a lot of errors. So let's see how to download Unity. Go to your Google browser or go to your browser search Google. And then we have to write download Unity Hub basically. Keep navigating until you find this site where you can download Unity Hub. Once you click on it and save the application, the download will begin. Now I have already set up, I have already installed the Unity Hub, so I don't need to download it. But once you have installed the application, something like this will be shown onto your screen. Abhi, Unity, this is called as Unity Hub. Here we can manage our projects, we can manage our applications and our licenses. What to do before going into the project is all handled by Unity Hub. All right. So first, let us start by creating a new account for our Unity project. Else, we won't be able to use many such services that Unity provides. All right. Since I have clicked on Unity and I have already logged in onto my account, if not, let me sign out of my browser as well. Yeah, I have already signed in here. So that is why I did not ask for a re-login. All right. So once you click on sign in, you will be automatically redirected to the same page. See, if not, you can just sign up right here and you can get your Unity account as well. So for me, I just need to log in. Yeah, you can open Unity Hub just by this pop-up and it will automatically sign you in onto the Unity Hub. Here you can logo with my initials M. Yeah. This panel will be empty for you since you are working on Unity for the first time. I have worked on Unity and that is why I can see so many layers right here. The next thing you need to do is install what version you need to select. To go to install panel and then click on install editor and then you have to click what version you want. I would recommend the latest long term support version. The first item on the list is what you need to install. After you've installed that, if you want to make games for Android, you need to select Android build support with SDK and JDK tools. But if not, you can also, you can always download this modules later. For now, I'll just click on Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2019 and yeah, I'll add it along with my new Unity project and click on install. Once you click, this bar will pop up and it will start your installation. After this, 
you need to go back to your account and you need to manage your licenses since we are new at unity we are only learning how to make games or how to do stuff we only need some basic personal license so go to add license yahan pe you have to click on get a personal license and read all of the terms and agreements and yeah you are good to go आपका पर्सनल लाइसेंस यहाँ पे पॉप अप होएगा इट विल शो योर एक्टिवेशन डेट एंड एक्सपायरेशन डेट आफ्टर दिस इज एक्सपायर्ड यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर द सेम लाइसेंस अगेन जस्ट बाय दिस सिमिलर मेथड नो नीड टू पे एनीथिंग और डू एनीथिंग एल्स ओके ये होने के बाद वी नीड टू गो टू क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट फ्रॉम अवर प्रोजेक्ट पैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन टू डी कोर टैंपलेट यहाँ पे यू कैन सेट योर प्रोजेक्ट नेम कि आप अपना प्रोजेक्ट बना रहे हो उसका नाम क्या होगा my first game and you can also select a location aapko apna project kahan pe save karna unity hardly takes 200 to 300 mb for a new project so you don't need much space it's all right to create it anywhere but yeah be aware after all of this you have to create a new project and yeah thoda samay lega loading hoyegi because it is loading everything that is needed to create everything that we have learned so far it is used to create games applications scenarios by the help of this project you can proceed to create anything so it is loading all of that and that is why it takes time even on a good pc so this is the unity screen that you see for the first time and don't be uh, don't be afraid don't get confused we'll look into what all of this is and we'll make rock solid games at the end of this series i hope you enjoyed this session will be coming with more live streams more talks and more of the same content and exciting stuff stay tuned do like share subscribe and ring the notification bell for future updates